Hello YouTube, uh, as promised, uh, I finally got an update from Arch Linux, um, or for Arch, and as you can see, the, the little hammock tray icon did pop up, so I have not done the, uh, the update with this, so let's go ahead and show you how this is done. So I have to do this in one take, so guys, not a lot of editing here. Um, so let's go ahead and, and, and open it up like we said um, with the updater. Um, if, if you're not familiar, remember, I, I, I don't know if you saw the other videos, but I put it down here, um, or a, a quick launch to it, but I'll, I'll go back through here and do it this way. You go down to system, and then right, right here, update software installed on the system. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and then when this opens up, synchronizing package databases, so it's doing its thing, so you'll get to see it. As it's happening, boy, this is taking, it's taking a minute. It says there's like 38 updates, and uh, apparently it's got to, got to synchronize here, uh, depending on how long this, okay, there it goes. All right, so now, see it says 38 updates, or available updates, and like I, I mentioned before, here you go. You got a list of all of these various packages that are requiring update. All you'd have to do here is click apply. So I'll go ahead and click apply. It's going to ask for the password. And then put that in. You see it says downloading. So now it's it's doing the downloading. Here's the details. Um, let me move this up just a little bit. Um, here's the details button I was telling you about. When you click on that, you get this little window. And it just tells you what's going on and about you know, a, a little progress bar. You can actually expand this even more by hitting this details uh, button here. And it'll show you what's going on. Um, like I said, it opens up a little, a little terminal kind of window here, and it tells you exactly what's happening. So, oops, don't want to click cancel. Almost screwed it up right there. <laughs> okay, so now it's it's going through the process of uh, of installing or downloading at this point in time, and then depending on how long it takes. You know, if it takes too long, um, I'm sure you know this, or, or maybe you don't, um, but when you open up a terminal and you use the sudo command and uh, you put in your password, there, there's like a clock on it where it's it, 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 that sudo authorization is, is active, if you want to put it that way. And what will happen is, I, I don't even know exactly how long that is, but it's it's for a period of time. Where it, it, you know, anytime the terminal will get a sudo command um, for uh, permissions, it, it won't it won't even ask you for your for your uh, password. It, like I said, I think there's a clock on it that keeps it active or keeps it live for so long during the process. Now it all depends on how long it takes you to download and, and do all this. It may ask you, you know, if you if you surpass that that timeout. And you're, you may have to put in your password again. Um, and it's kind of what I definitely want to show you that. Um, because, uh, like I said, the first time, the very first time I've, I did um, an update when I tried it out, um, like I said, I ran into a, a little bug down here where, like, I had to put in my, I had to put in my password again um, because it was taking so long. And if I'm not mistaken, that was something that was, was being updated um, through, uh, I want to say it was an AUR package, um, that was being updated, I think. And when I typed in my, my password, it didn't accept it. And it was asking for a super user password. And I'm sure you remember that from, from the other video, but regardless, you know, I, it, what I think it happened is it took so long to download that the, uh, the permission that I gave it, you know, with the pop-up here, when I, when I first authorized the update, um, it, we just surpassed the timeout. So I, I, I'm pretty sure that's that's what happened. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not absolutely certain, but that's what it seems like to me. So um, if you do have to put in your password again, don't freak. You know, it's it's probably it's probably due to, to something like that, and not a big deal. But again, caution with the whole super user thing. 
um, I recommend, you know, like I, I said this in the other video, if you're, if you're get hit with that, then, you know, definitely go in and, and, uh, do it through, through the, the terminal yourself, do, do that update, whatever it is through the terminal. And, uh, that'll kind of get around, you know, putting in a super user because that, that's something, you know, I don't, I don't care. That's, that's just not a smart thing to ever have to do with any program. I, and this is nothing against, you know, up the, the PAMAC guys. Oh, and by the way, I did get a message um, or a comment. It was the very first comment on that video that I just put up. Um, but it it was from uh, FAC AR is how I'm going to say your name, man. But uh, uh, he, he let me know that this this uh, PAMAC is actually uh, um, created or maintained or, or whatever by the, the uh, Manjaro team. And that's that's great. Um, Manjaro is... is apparently a, you know a pretty a pretty decent um distribution it's it's as far as i can tell pretty well respected people people seem to like it a lot and it's very popular so that that's actually a good in in my in my mind um that that's definitely a thumbs up and a positive thing uh for using pamac because it's it's being this is actually you know a a program that goes to a popular um, a distribution that is, that is, you know, it, it's maintained, you know, it's not a dead distribution. So, um, the support, uh, for this ought to be, ought to be around. I guess it's been around uh, quite a while. I, like I said, I didn't really, I, I didn't, I'd not ever heard of it, but, uh, yeah, really, really kind of finding out that I do actually like this. This is a, this is a pretty neat little program. This has been saying about 30 seconds remaining for about, uh, what, two minutes now. So, <laughs> maybe not quite that long um it's taking a little while what i might do is just is cut to the cut to the end okay so now it appears that it's finished it popped this open and you'll see this transaction successfully finished and that means we're done and what you'll also notice is that the icon down here um, disappeared, and that's because I set that in the preferences, if you remember that from the last video. And now we're, we're in good shape. So I close that, and it says, my system is up to date. So, guys, now you've seen it in action. It's, it's really easy to use, very, very user-friendly and functional. Um, so, you know, I, I recommend it at this point. I recommend it. I may uh, try Octopi a little bit later. You know, I saw something about that so be looking for that little review if you want to call it a review i don't even know if you call this a review but uh be looking for that a little bit later and then you know you can pick and choose which one you'd like best i may try that one but i gotta admit i'm pretty happy with with uh pamac um we'll look at uh at octopi and then we'll also you know, as soon as i can think of something that i actually want to install we'll look at pamac's uh software um this one right here the, the software installer add or remove software um feature of it so hopefully uh this has helped you out uh please like subscribe and share uh visit us over at bahamadawest.com join us on facebook um and on twitter uh, all those links are down below thanks a lot for watching guys